hello guys welcome back to the video player app series in this part we will get all the videos files from android media storage so for that first of all we have to create our model class so go to the our package and here we have to create a new java class for our list that is video files now here we will create some fields private string and id and private string path and all the related columns of our video so i'm going again to copy paste and here title and uh, something let's say file name and also three more columns now last one is private string and this will be let's say duration and now we have to create constructor so press alt enter insert and select all of these members and press ok now the constructor is created and the last thing that we have to do here is to add getter setter methods for all of these members so press ok now this is done our model class is done so close this and now here we will first create an array list of video files array list static array list and this will be of type video files let's say video files equals newer list and now i'm going to create a method that will return the array list that will store all the video files so here public array list video files this will the return type and get all video and the argument will be one argument that is context that we will pass so here we will first create a temporary array list to store all the video files related data in it and then we will return this temporary so we have created the release temporary data and uri uri equals media store dot uh, video dot media dot external content uri and now semicolon this will return the uri of external content uri and now we will create a projection that is of type string array and here we will add some columns so media store dot video dot media dot underscore id first column will be id and comma and co copy this and paste it to create other columns because we have created in video files seven member fields so here we have also create seven columns all these data will be taken from the media store storage and it will be added to the this this video files so you can see there is only six columns we have to add all of these so the seventh column will be display name and remove this comma from there here we have to remove this comma and now after this projection we have to create a cursor cursor equals get context dot get content resolver dot query and here we will pass the uri first argument and the other will be projection that we have created above so projection and the all the three 
parameters will be null null and the last one will be also null because you are not sorting here we will sort in upcoming videos and then we will check if this cursor is not equal to null then we will loop through all of this cursor cursor is not equal to null then while cursor dot move to next move to next and inside this loop we will get all the things that is columns string id cursor dot get string at column index 0 id is at index 0 because we have declared first as an id and the path will be at index 1 so cursor dot get string at column index 1 just copy this and paste it to make it 7 times remove this one now change this to required things that is title display name duration and pass the pass the column index means change this column indexes to corresponding now after all the getting things from the columns we will create object of video files to initialize the video files object video files video files equals new video files and here we will pass all the strings you can see the hint pass that thing that is id path and then title and then look at hint and pass and the last one will be date added we have written a typo data added but it would be date added and uh, duration last one is duration now we will add this video file object into our array list that is temporary audio list and here we will add the video files object and now after this while loop inside if block we will close the cursor this is important if you want close the cursor you might get some exception and at the last we will return temporary audio list video list we can also pass a log cat to check if the path is getting from uh, media store storage so we have added the locket we will show here just to check is there a file or not in the locket it will return the path if there is a file else not so we have done this get video files method and now we will get video file in our permission method here is the permission and when we have got the permission here we will initialize the video files with uh, get all video and here we will pass the context that is this and also in on request permission result we have to initialize video files get all video and here we will pass the context and hence we have done the everything to add all the information related to the video to our released so now we will run the app and see if the log cat is showing the path or not so the grid will be really successfully finished now this is launching and here you can see in the log cat the red colored lines these are the path i have only four files so this is showing four times and uh, we have got the video files information and now we will set the fragment when we will click on the bottom navigation menus 
into our app when we will click on these menus we have to add the fragments in our main activity so for that we have to first go to the activity main resource layout here and here we will add a frame layout above this bottom navigation menu so here we have to add a frame layout so just write frame layout and it will be match parent match parent width and height and we will also give an id to it so id main fragment and then we have to add one more attribute that is aligned parent top to true to make it at the top of the main activity and uh, layout above will be id bottom nav menu now it will be aligned at the top of bottom nav menu you can see this and now we have done the things in our activity main layout now we have to create fragment transaction so inside this switch case statement that means when we will click on this folder list menu item we will create a fragment transaction fragment transaction equals get support fragment manager dot begin transaction and then fragment transaction dot replace and here the first argument will be the id where we have to replace the fragment and the other argument will be the object of our fragment class so r dot id dot main fragment and here we will pass new fragment folder for folder fragment and then we will commit the transaction since here we are clicking folder items so for that we are replacing the folder fragment into our main fragment and uh, for now we have to copy this and for file list item we have to paste it and just change this fragment transaction name let's say add at the end two to make it different also this and this now here in new folder fragment we have to add new file fragment and now here you can see we have already added text views to make it different from this fragment so that we can see the transaction is happening in a better way so the app is launching and now when we will click on this fragment menu item now it will show the text view at the top and when we will click on this the different fragment will be added but when it runs first time the fragment is not showing means any fragment transaction is not performed there you can see this there is no any fragment added because there is no any text view so we have to add some codes when it runs first time so copy this and uh, in permission method when we have got the permission after this video files we have to add this and uh, this will be folder fragment and in on request permission result in here we have to add this now it will work let's run the app So now the app is launched successfully. You can see the fragment is showing now at the first time. So that's it for the tutorial. Thank you for watching. And also subscribe to the channel and keep supporting.